All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're taking a look at the GameSir Galileo G8 Plus. I am super excited about this device. I've been playing around with it for a few days now. Just to give you a little bit of its features here, it is Bluetooth. Um, you do get swappable uh, buttons, a very wide body, like it, it definitely expands for a lot of different devices and I'll show you that in a moment. You get the Hall Effect uh, joysticks, and it connects to a bunch of different devices. So your iOS devices, Android, even Nintendo Switch. Now you can pick this device up uh, several different places. I know Amazon got them back in stock. I actually ordered mine directly from GameSir because I didn't know any better and it took it a while to, to get here, but I have been loving it. So when you are Greeted with the device here when you first open it up, you do get uh, your instruction manual in here along with a charging cable. It's a USB uh, A to USB C charging cable, so it does have a battery, so you have to charge it up. You get some swappable uh, sticks there if you want to change these out, and they're pretty easy to change out as well because I know that these covers kind of just pop off. Um, which I haven't really done yet, but I have messed around with these swappable buttons. So you kind of pull off these magnetic buttons and you can kind of swap them in whatever configuration that you'd like. You do get a pretty wide um, expansion here. So I know the original Galileo G8, not the plus, but just a regular one. I know a lot of people mod those. This, I really like this one because you could even use devices and keep the case on the device as opposed to um, its competition here, which I have is the Backbone. I didn't do a video on this because I didn't really use it as much because it was such a hassle taking the case on and off the iPhone using it um, or even with the, um, the Z Folds that I use and putting this USB-C in and out of the phones I don't know, it just wasn't a great experience and the fact that this thing, it is compact. So for those looking for a compact controller, this is pretty good. But for me, it was very reminiscent of the Nintendo Switch controllers, which are very cramped, at least for my size hands. So if you have bigger hands, you may wanna go with something like this with much larger grips, which is why I have really been enjoying using this particular device. Now. I guess one thing that I still have to get used to is switching in between the different modes because I do have this thing paired up to my iPad as well as the Z Fold. Um, so just getting used to doing those switches is something, you know, I'm, I'm just going to have to keep messing around with it, become an expert at it. But I will say very comfortable. These Hall Effect joysticks are supposed to make it so that you don't get the uh, stick drift which if you're a gamer, I guess you're familiar with that already. Um, but overall, boy, oh boy, it is absolutely worth the 80 bucks or whatever it's going for right now. There are some coupons and different things available if you search for them online. Uh, but one of the other cool things that I really want to show you today too is that I came across somebody else's video and kind of learned that there's a hidden mode here where you can kind of pop this thing out and it expands even further. So I have been able to use it with my iPad Pro. <laughs> so this is the 11 inch. I don't know if it'll expand enough. It should to fit the um, iPad Pro, the, the new um, 11 inch or 13 inch iPad Pros. This is the M2 model. Um, so if you guys already know if it fits, you can comment below to help other people out. But I'll just show you kind of how the extension fits in place so you can actually game. And actually, let me open this up on your iPad Pro. So I know a lot of people might use it for the iPad mini, but just keep in mind, you can use it for the iPad Pro as well. And as you can see, I had been using it on this NBA 2K24 out of the, um, the uh, Apple Store here. 
Uh, so let's see. Let's just do a little quick demonstration here. And actually, we'll turn this down a little bit. Um, nice little replay action there. So with this thing, and it feels pretty light because the iPad Pro is not that heavy. But obviously, you're, um, if you use the iPad Mini, it might even be even better. So I'm really excited about maybe the new iPad Mini that's supposed to drop later in the year. I might pick that up just for gaming purposes now that I have this uh, Galileo uh, G8 Plus. So let me just uh, see if I can get the ball back here. And as you guys can see, I was destroying the Raptors because you know I'm playing with my Celtics. <clears throat> And Apple Arcade is impressive. I've talked about this before, and I really want Android to come up with something to combat that. But I love playing 2K on different platforms. This is just amazing. I love it. There we go. Jalen Brown, I think he got snubbed. They've been really doing my Celtics dirty as of late for the Olympics, um, for the All-NBA teams, all of that stuff. But the triggers, very, very nice and smooth. Very similar to like an X, uh, Xbox Series X controller. And I'm really going to enjoy playing this thing, especially on the go using some PS5 uh, gameplay. Or remote play, I should say. But hit me up in the comments if you guys have any questions about this particular device. Like I said, I'm really enjoying it right now. And I'm looking forward to really understanding the different modes. Um, it also, and actually let me pause this here. It does have um, a USB-C connection here at the bottom. And you get your pairing button there. Like I said, these are swappable. This is your kind of main menu button. So if you have the app installed, you can kind of go into that. Um, let me see if it'll take me, takes me to the center, but let me, all right, I'll swipe out and see if I can show you guys the, the GameSir app. So I will say that the backbone, so far the backbone has better, um, software as far as like the their um what's the word i'm looking for like a profile page i guess um that shows you all the different types of games you can play in different platforms this i've got to get used to all right just to give you guys like a little quick demonstration too it does have the rumble feature inside of it and right now it's got a uh on the vibration mode it has experienced grip vibration. So if you hit your back triggers, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's definitely some rumble that goes on. Feels really, really good. And my understanding is that if you have um, a Nintendo Switch, it really works good with that. But I don't have the Switch anymore, so no way for me to really test that out. But right now, this feels really, really nice. And you could even go in and test to make sure everything is working properly with all of your buttons. As you can see, the corresponding screen there. So everything in working order. Really, really good. I can get out of that and as you can see it's kind of connected to the Z Fold but you can connect this from my understanding to most Android devices probably with the newer software and you can go into your gaming hub and choose different games to play so this thing is is really winning right now um I am super impressed like I said you can have your um phone any foldable phone is going to fit in here with the case, as you can see here. Um, so really the convenience of this one, as opposed to the backbone, I'm already in love with this 
controller. So hit me in the comments if you guys want me to test out certain games on here. Um, like I said, I need to get a little bit better with switching between the different modes. So that is my biggest frustration so far is the different modes. So if you got some tips for me, <laughs> make sure you leave them uh, in the comment section below. And until the next one. Peace.